Hey everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Darkest Dungeon. There's new stuff out now. Alright, so I figured, what the heck, this is always a grand old time. Um, I'm actually going to continue my previous campaign though to do this. Um, this will also open the possibility of doing some things that I hadn't finished in the previous campaign. Uh, this is the original campaign, way back in the day. Uh, but yeah, so the Musketeer is now available for everyone. This is actually just a... Uh, basically a sprite swap with the Arbalist. Uh, this was a character that was a Kickstarter exclusive for the past two years and they have now released for everyone. And the Color of Madness is now out. Add the new Farmstead region, new quests, new monsters, new treasures, and uh, new districts. So I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work in terms of being able to access things like... Um, you know, low-level quests and such like we that, but we'll figure it out, months, basically. Years, an eternity, and we were rewarded with madness. So the last thing we had done uh, previously, last time on Darkest Dungeon, um, was essentially we had gone and we had killed the Countess. Um, so I'm going to see here. So these are the new things. We have the mill. Uh, heroes were no longer suffer random hunger checks. Holy crap, that's actually really good. Um, gen stacking increased to one. Holy Water increases buffs. Laudanum adds a stress resist buff. Oh, that's cool. Um, medicinal herbs add a disease resist buff. There's a, so there's a bunch of stuff here, plus all the ones we had before. Um, and there's also shards. It's a new currency. Um, we can't exchange to shards either, it looks like. Oh, yes, we can. I stand corrected. But we can only exchange them from shards to other things. Okay, that makes sense. And then, uh, what do we got for Embark here? Comet's impact was felt here in the Hamlet. Venture Miller's Farm, see what has been done. Okay, so I don't think we can take... Yeah, we can't take those. Uh, so we may need a new party. We can actually take Fritz Herbert and Dudley. We'll probably... Um, might have to ditch a couple of these. So Gand, I think um, it's time for you to go. Sorry, my friend. Goodbye. Slumped shoulders, wild eyes, and a stumbling gait. Sydney, this you are another one. Good to us. Goodbye. Um, and we will pick up a couple, a couple new people. So we have Dufay, Watered, Derville, Picard. Uh, that is actually hilarious. What do we have for shield breakers right now? We still have two. Um, let's see, Danvers, I think, will take you. Elusive, evasive, persistent. Righteous Dufay. traits for a rogue. So, these folks will probably only be around for the sake of, uh, this stuff. But, it'll be interesting to have them along. Uh, we'll go with this. So, a ton of things have changed as well. Every single class got massive changes. The game has changed dramatically overall. Um, essentially, there's a higher emphasis on crits now. Um, shard dust. Huh. Can I use more virtuous? That's interesting. Um, I don't think we'll actually need the blood anymore. We'll take a little bit of everything here and start learning. Oh, it's... There's no... Um, there's no food? Hmm, that's curious. Um... Hmm. Interesting. Blight had struck the harvest again that year, and the miller was desperate. He came to me, hat clutched tightly in filthy fingers, stinking of sweat and manure. Seated comfortably in my observatory, surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity, and I agreed to lend him my expertise. Hmm. Expertise, huh? When the ancestor talks of expertise, that, uh, gives me some concern. Hmm. Well, this is a very interesting area. Ah, okay. So, the farmstead's miasma. Minus 10% healing received, plus 10% stress at all times. That is interesting. Yeah, so champion enemies have less health now and more damage. Um, 
Celestial Cornerstone. Onward. Oh, this is interesting. This is this is very. Oh my goodness. So these are all new enemies. We have farmhands and foremen. Let's see. Dufay came with Punish and Reign of Sorrows. A lot of things have changed. Um, so we'll start discovering those as we go along here. So uh, Grape Shot actually now gives a uh, crit debuff, causes them to take more crits. Now every time an enemy, or a hero rather, crits, they get a buff for their next turn. So that'll be pretty interesting to see how that plays out. As the fiend falls, Monster waves and respawning. Blossoms. Feed foes will swiftly be replaced by waves of despicable reinforcements. The party must endure this onslaught without pause or hope for respite. Because of the strange nature of time's behavior in the farm said you can retreat with no penalty at any time. Hmm. Kill meter and crystal shards. All farm sequests is a kill meter, a measure of your might and ambition. Fill it by defeating monsters, and when your talent hits a certain threshold, you receive a reward of crystal shards. Back in the Hamlet, jeweler seeks these strange glowing shards which trade you for unspeakable artifacts of power. Find them in the Nomad's Wagon. Huh, okay. So are these all? I'm curious. Are these all, um... Are all of the things in the Farmstead endless quests? I'm actually not entirely sure on that. I thought they were actually bosses as well. Maybe it, maybe this is just the endless, but... Um, ooh. Crystalline Aberration. We can actually kill it? Will that prevent a... Like a despawn or a respawn? Really? Continue the onslaught. Hmm. Destroy Strange. Them all. So these have repost as well. Now I'm gonna have to start watching out for uh, healing if we're gonna be on this like endless onslaught. You know, I'm gonna have to start really keeping up with incoming damage and such. Battle heal uh, also got improved. Uh, protection went down in a lot of ways as well, though. A lot of protection buffs are significantly less powerful now. Oh my! Plow horse, another farm hand. However, we're getting, uh, getting up there. On the ground. Hmm. Oh, that makes you stealth. That's interesting. I don't know, do I have any means of dealing with stealth right now? I don't think I do. I mean, that'll certainly help, but... Uh, we don't need to endure, I don't think we need... Uh, we could take this bleed off of, uh... Off of her, but I think we'll be okay for now. Let's continue on here. Great is the weapon that cuts on its uh, stealth uh, also cannot just be automatically hit by AE abilities anymore. So, like, I can't use Reign of Sorrows because they don't have any target whatsoever. So that is actually another pretty significant change. Obliterated. So you have to at least target something. Yeah, I really need this to come out of stealth here, because we don't really have a means of dealing with that. Trample is going to do, yeah, that's, oh wow, it's a damage and a, uh, like a disorient, essentially. Hmm. Uh, we're going to have to move you forward here. That's pretty scary. A tracking shot will de stealth. Oh, I can leave you. Hmm. We'll give you the buff. A lot of buffs uh, changed as well. Um, so this buff lasts all battle. I'm curious if that means like the entirety of this, because that seems like incredibly powerful. Like buffing classes would be almost overpowered. Alright, so there's the crit. Bleed skill chance, two rounds. So basically, it's essentially the round that you use it on, and then the round after. Um, the blood. All effects resolve at the end of round now instead of the beginning, so offensive buffs are a little better. The slow death, unforeseen, mm. unforgiving. Mm -hmm. I uh, will just kill you. This one worries me again, though. We can really do nothing here. 
Maybe we'll we'll shift you back one here. Uh, you unfortunately tracking shot. I'm actually not sure why you can't fire tracking shot here. This is a size two enemy, is it not? Oh, it's only got one use. Oh, that's that is interesting, right? Because it's a buff as well. I am curious. I would like to kill this enemy before more spawn. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I'm curious to find out what happens if you do that. You clear a wave entirely. Nuts. These horses are, are pretty, pretty scary, though. Now, we don't have any of the healing abilities on Dufay either, which is going to be concerning. Uh, healing on the Vestal got a slight buff as well, which is interesting to me. Uh, is this like a full... I think this might be a full battle buff, right? Yeah, so we can just give you that protection full timer. So this actually created two seeds. Another one uh, the flagellant can also not punish the third row anymore. So that's, that's another big change. Boy, this trample is uh, rough. Oh, we killed the horse. Can we kill this aberration? Alright, so that's a cleared wave. So what what happens then? Anything in particular, or does it just respawn a new set? Okay, it just respawns a new set. Farmhand. Um, I would really like to get up to this first first set before we uh, before we leave here. And I'm also curious to see, you know, what uh, what we'll get afterwards in terms of rewards and if more quests open up and things like that. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Ceaseless labor. This is a uh, blight, yeah. Six damage blight. We uh, we could cleanse that actually. Seem to do a lot of stress as well. Well, there's a crit. So your crit buff is the plus two speed. Now, do heal crits count? No, it's only damaging crits. That's good to know. Eleven kills so far. Uh, I would like to move you, but I'm kind of just waiting for another shuffle to happen. All right, there's another foreman. No trespass and stir the rabble. Stir the rabble is a buff. Yeah, it also gives the repost and a lot of blight duration. Um, you need to be here. We're gonna. We are gonna have to do some shuffling because I can't have my. What's a mark? I can't have my uh, flagellant in that row there. Wow, a full dodge. That is unfortunate. I wonder if this uh, this music track grows in intensity as well at the further along you get. Unfortunately, we're dodging a fair amount of these. Are let's start killing some of these off here, because need this to uh, need to progress. For Eleven kills. Here we go. Nice. All right, so we did hit one there. Thank you, Danvers. That one died to the bleed. Very good. Many hands. Oh. Speed and protection. Ooh. Okay. Definitely think it's just stick with the Vestal healing as much as possible. Alright, there goes the Seeds of Madness thing again. 
I am partially curious to see what happens if I just let this sit, but at the same time, I'm, I'm a little concerned. You need to be healed pretty directly here. And, uh, I guess you'll just kill that one. One of these might get a turn, actually, and I guess we'll see what happens. Unstable resonance. Whoa! Okay, so those explode and do an enormous amount of damage. Oh, and he's got his, uh, his buff now. So there's a Scarecrow. That's uh, another new enemy. He's immune to bleed. And it comes in stealthed. Unfortunately, the foreman did not die from that bleed, but he will next turn. Yikes, Dufay is in dire straits here. Uh-oh. That's, that's death's door. Facing the abyss. Now, obviously, he does get a buff from that being a flagellant, but uh, I'm not quite sure I really want to leave him there. However, that does mean that the um, the Death's Door debuff is going to stay permanently, right? A death by inches. Oh no, I guess it does just go away. Perhaps because that's a, a thing with Endless. I guess because otherwise it would be a little, a little unfair. Death nice crit it. there. So uh, the Crusader gets uh, extra protection when they crit, which is nice. Well, you can really do nothing here. Um, I guess you'll just take this mark. Continue to heal. How are we doing crystal-wise? Almost there. So I think this kill will give us... Well, if we, uh, if we get an opportunity to do anything. Flail the crops. Are you permanently stealthed? Because... Okay, no. <laughs> I was going to say, that's going to be a problem. 18. Not quite there. Maybe it's 20 for the first one. Another Scarecrow. So you definitely want de-stealthers in this, is what I'm gathering here. Dufay is in Festering dire straits. Consumes the mind. Obviously has, uh, you know, if someone's gonna hit death's door, it's better for it to be him than anyone else, but... Still not ideal. Yeah, we kind of want uh, Fitz to be marked the most there. Plus, I mean, he's got the uh, prot debuff for this entire combat, which is nice. 19. Alright, one more I think gets us a reward here. That should be it. Perhaps? 20. Oh! Okay. Quest complete. Oh, all right. So this was this was for a single a single one. I get it. I gotcha. Taste of madness. So we get twelve comet shards there. This is adding up comet shards from the kills. Cool. Unholy hater. Nice. All right. So I, I can see how that works. An achievement. Taste of madness. You that is stuck. Matter. Um, like Tradello went on a quest of personal hardship and pain. Place. Foster is filled with hope. Hmm. Alright, so we need... Not sure what that... Oh, the memories in the Endless Harvest. Uh, yeah, so we basically just need a ton of crystals here. I'm assuming that's what that resource is. Um, even though it looks slightly different there. Nomad wagon. Uh, oh, here we go. The jeweler. So when the crystal shards earn at the farmstead here. So these are all new. Wow, there's a lot of these. Holy cow. Non-Euclidean hilt. I I love that. On attack, hit blight. Oh wow. I mean that's obviously extremely expensive, but look how cool that is. Huh. Oh wow, these these uh high power ones or these high cost ones are really really neat. What 
attacked by Husk, when attacked by Eldritch. Nor Stealth. Wow. Shard Dust in the inventory. I wonder what Shard Dust... Oh, Shard Dust is the... The other stuff, right? So it looks like we're gonna have to... Oh, this is a veteran one now. Okay. So, uh, perhaps we'll do that next time. Now, it's gonna be a little tough, actually. Um, oh, the thing from the stars roams here this week. You might encounter... Maybe we'll do that next time instead. Uh, we'll try to find this thing from the stars, whatever that is. That's cool. Yeah, I, this is really neat. This uh, DLC, if you want it yourself, um, head to Steam, or s I think it's also on the Switch uh, today. I'm not sure on the console releases for the DLC, but um, if you want this DLC, on PC at least, head to Steam. It's five bucks. I, it's exceptionally cheap for what it is. It includes a ton of rework, or a ton of rebalancing of the game. I think the, the rebalancing of the game went in regardless. Um... But this is, uh, this has the new endless mode, has some new stuff to unlock. Pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like, helps a bunch. Subscribe for more, and I will see you soon.